Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for GrandStream access points. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. Today, I will be showing you how to quickly set up a GWN7664 and a GWN7660 using GrandStream's GWN Cloud. It is assumed that you have a PoE switch or a PoE injector to power the access points and that they are connected to a network with internet access. First, open a browser and go to GWN.Cloud. GWN Cloud is a great free tool to manage all of your GrandStream access points, especially if you have multiple sites. If you don't already have a free account, you can click Sign Up here. Otherwise, enter your credentials and click Sign In. Once logged in, you will see a dashboard with all of your networks displayed. Networks are used to group your devices together. Click on Network and then Create Network to add a new network group. Give your new network a name, and then check that all the required settings are correct. It is not advised to clone another network, unless you know that it has the same settings you want to use on the new network. Then click Save. In the left column, select your new network. To add a new AP, click Access Points. Configuration. And then finally, the Add button. Give the new AP a name, and then enter the MAC address and Wi-Fi password shown on the sticker under the device. I usually suggest recording these default passwords with a picture or some other way so that you don't need to unmount the device if you ever need to factory reset the AP. Now that you have an AP added, click on the SSIDs to add the Wi-Fi network settings. Pro tip, if you add the SSID first, then all subsequent APs added to the network will automatically become members of that SSID. The exception is VLANs. VLAN SSIDs will not be added automatically. Next, I'm going to quickly add a GWN7660 so you can see how easy it really is. To verify your new APs are working, you can check under Overview or Access Points Status. Clicking the Locate the Device icon here makes the lights flash on the AP. This is helpful if the AP is mounted already and you are unsure of which one is which. To verify your SSID was applied to the APs, click on SSIDs and then the Edit icon. And finally, the Device Membership tab. APs shown under Member Devices are already assigned to this SSID. Lastly, if you ever need to log in to the AP directly, you will see that the Web GUI menu is now very limited due to the device being paired with GWN Cloud and the login password was changed by the GWN Cloud. To log in to the AP GUI from the same network, you can use HTTPS followed by GWN underscore and the MAC of the AP as shown. The username is admin, and the password is found under your network on GWN Cloud under System, Settings, SSH Password. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, 
please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.